Assalamualaikum to me, our lecturer Dr. Malisa Muhammad and Miss Ain. So this is our video for physic presentation and this is my partner Umi Zahra binti Azman. So let's continue. So for the first part is the objective is to find the resistance of a given resistor. The theory, the purpose of a resistor is to reduce the current through it. This is electrical resistance which measured in unit ohm. Resistance is calculated using Ohm's law. The current must be known. The voltage drop is measured by using formula R equals to V over I, which is V is the voltage, I is current, R is resistance. The resistance of resistor depend on its material and shape. Few materials have high resistance and it will give high value. The value printed in the form of color code on the resistor. Current through each resistor is series in in series is equal, but the voltage is different. The total resistance of resistor is equal to the sum of each resistor. In parallel, the voltage across each resistor in parallel is equal, but not for the current. The Ohm's law is used to validate the values of circuit components, current levels, voltage supplies, and drops. Ohmic conductor is material that obey Ohm's law. Emitter is an instrument used to measure direct or alternate electric current in ampere. A voltmeter is an instrument used to measure potential difference in electrical potential between two points in electric circuit. Rheostat is an adjustable resistor used in application that require adjustment of current or the varying of resistance in circuit. Next. Next, we see the question. Firstly, the formula V equals to IR is used to determine the R average. Voltage and current was measured in the circuit. The circuit is arranged in series circuit, which we can see in experimental design. Next, voltage and current measurement was measured and recorded in table. The graph of V against I was plotted in a graph. The resistance and uncertainty was obtained from the graph. Lastly, the, vol the value of the resistance determined from the graph was compared to the value determined by direct measurement using an ohmmeter. Next, the table shown is the table recorded for V and I. Assalamualaikum, my name is Umi Zahra. I'm going to continue with the calculation. So as you can see, we obtain the centroid, which is um, the value of current and the voltage from the table. And the centroid that we obtain is 0.55A for the X axis and Y axis, which is 1.19 volt. So we, using the formula, we obtain 2.164 ohms as the R average. Then we calculated the, gra the maximum gradient and also the minimum, minimum gradient to calculate the uncertainty error. The uncertainty error that we obtain is 2.0.253. So, we use the gradient formula to obtain resistance from the graph. This is our graph. This is our experimental design. The circuit needs to be in this in a series. So that we can obtain the result. First question, does the resistor obey Ohm's law? State your reason. Yes, the voltage is directly proportional to the current. This we can obtain from the resist resistor value from the graph. Second question, describe the energy transformation that took place in the circuit once all the connections are completed and the current is flowing in the circuit. The energy transformation that took place in the circuit is chemical energy to electrical energy. Next question. Calculate the voltage needed across a 1000 ohm resistor so that the current reaches fatal level. Refer from the table. So we using the formula V equals to IR, we calculated the value and we got we got 70 volt. Question four. What is the common effect on resistance when the temperature of a resistor increases? 
the resistance increase as the resistance directly proportional. Next, why does the value of R in an electric circuit change when the circuit is left a long time? This is because heat dissipation within the resistor causes the resistor to, re to rise in temperature, thus causing resistivity to rise or behave like a semiconductor material. The value of resistor increase as temperature increase. Last question, why does an emitter have a low resistance while a voltmeter has a high resistance? Emitter have, have a low resistance because emitter are always connected in series. Hence, it should have a low resist, resistance to avoid significant alteration of the current. Voltmeter has a high resistance because voltmeter are always connected in parallel circuit. <laughs> Lastly, the conclusion. The resistance of the resist resistor obtained from this experiment is 2.097 ohm, and the uncertainty error obtained is 0.253. A few precautions that we can obtain from this experiment is, first, make sure the circuit is connected correctly to obtain an accurate result. If you want to know whether the circuit is co connected properly or not, we can see that both meter and emitter will deflect when the circuit is not connected properly. Next, make sure there is no systematic error when taking the reading of emitter and voltmeter. And lastly, make sure the circuit is de-energized and discharged before connecting to ohmmeter. That's all from us. Thank you.